But what I want to do here is just not interest you, you know, in the science of, of the brain, but also show you something so that you can take with you, okay, so you'll have a handle on this, right? I'm going to teach you a little bit more. Now, if you ask a doctor uh, here how many different really subsets there are, you know, in the brain, they would not know, okay? They, they, they couldn't name them. But why do we teach you? Because we want you to get the, a basic baseline of, of neurochemistry and why you take certain medications, okay? That's where we want. We're educating you just like you were, you know, uh, medical students or doctors. Okay, this is a doctor-nurse lecture, okay? Let's go talk about some of these different, different subtypes so that you'll know more about them. So we're going to talk about serotonin. Serotonin is one of the neurotransmitters. There's 5-hydroxytryptamine 1 through 5-hydroxytryptamine uh, seven, that's a different type, sir. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then also these have subtypes to give you about 22 different types of subtypes in here. Okay, why is that important? Because your 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 genetics gave you certain amounts of those neurotransmitters where in your brain, right? In your brain, we could do it. We had to stick a needle in your brain, and we could actually find out how much serotonin you have. You can buy serotonin off the internet. You can buy some 5-HT3, you can buy some dopamine, put it in a necklace, carry it around, say, hey, look at, look at this, what I got in here. And then we can buy the receptor sites. You have actually receptor sites in your brain like this, you produce the drug, and it hits some receptor sites like this, okay? Now, if we look at something like 5-HT1, we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you know, all these different subtypes. Now, you're born, let's say, with that one up, that one down, that one uh, that one normal, normal, up, down, down, down. How do they treat that? They treat it with different medications that's going to help your serotonin, like Paxil, like Zoloft, like Lexapro, like Celexa. See what I mean? Uh, and if you guys can name some more, let me know. Prozac, right? Prozac, you know. So these are serotonin. They, they increase serotonin. But the thing is, is Prozac, from what I understand, what I've read, will only raise, raise three different ones, right? So something like Prozac, what am I going to do if that one's even? No change, right? Not much of a change. What happens here? It actually raises it. So, some, so it depends upon your, what you inherited. If a doctor tells you that this drug is going to work for you, you know, what's the chance of it working, right? They, they can't tell you it's going to work, right? Because they don't know, didn't do a brain biopsy on you. See what I mean? I have seen that drugs like Lexapro and Celexa, drugs like that, will actually, I feel that they probably are hitting more. But that's my opinion. See what I mean? Because some people, they have Prozac and they think it's an excellent drug because it might be hitting three neurotransmitter systems or more. See what I mean? So we don't know what the drug's going to work on you, but we do know that it raises serotonin. We also know that the 5-hydroxytryptamine 3 is important for alcohol. When people drink alcohol, you surge 5-HT3, which actually calms you down and works like an antidepressant effect. So if you want to, you know, if you're interested in this, you want about 5-HT3, that's big now, okay? So that's the serotonin.